when you're traveling around and you're going to be heading up to Chiang Rai, let's talk about your passion for motorbiking and motocross. Uh, you've had this, I'm assuming, like we discussed since you're a kid. Talk about that trip we discussed on the phone, what you're going to be doing up in Chiang Rai. Um, yeah, so I've only been actually doing uh, off-road motorbiking only for a year and a half. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I so, thought for some reason you, this is something you've carried since you are a child. No, so um, I've had motorbikes for a while, and I've got quite a few motorbikes now. I think I've got six KTMs and a few others. And um, so, yeah, so I started off-roading on uh, like a 350 EXC, a KTM, which is a lovely bike, uh, September. But I've done, I think I've done about 11, 11 and a half thousand miles in a year and a bit, uh, just off-road um, in all the trails uh, and all that stuff. So my friend Richard, he's going to come over on the 29th, 29th uh, and I'll meet him in Chiang Mai. So we'll go there. And then there's a German leader called uh, uh, Hermann. So he's part of a uh, motorbiking. So we're going to be on a KTM 250s. So it's like a loop we do. I think it's about 700 kilometers. Yeah, you're, so you're kind of doing the Mai Hung Song loop in Chiang Mai. And then, yeah, but all off Five days. So as much off road as we can. Yeah, because these bikes you can't really have them on the the pavement. I mean, it's terrible for the tires. No, well, not really. Um, I thought it kind of like. Well, right. no. Um, most of the time, obviously, like in you know Portugal or UK, whatever we ride, uh, we, you naturally have to spend time on it. No, they're fine on the road, and like and, and, and they are quite quick. You know, my bike can do 80, 90 miles an hour quite easily, uh, whether it's on road or off road. So they are pretty powerful. They can wheelie probably in every gear. Um, so they are pretty powerful bikes. I'm not sure what these new bikes will be like. In these, well, at least you're lucky because it was raining here. Like it, it was raining here nonstop since June. Yeah. It recently just stopped. You can tell in Thailand what happens is because I'm a golfer, the winds will just change. Yeah. And then that's when, you know, the rainy season's done. But um, I've done some hiking out and around here. And especially if you're going to be doing this type of uh, off-road stuff up in Chiang Mai, if it's raining, yeah. it almost impossible it'd just be a nightmare out there all right well, I, yeah. I quite like her yeah I, yeah well, to a point as long as it's not too because we like we almost like wait for the winter months in uk it gets very leachy here so when you really get off road like because of the mud the yeah. leeches come out and they're really? not big oh. thick leeches that you can take off they're the ones that will get like under a nail these little oh. suckers yeah they have there's a really nice park north of bangkok <laughs> called uh cow what is it cow yai i think cow yai yeah. national yeah. park Okay. And you'll watch people go hiking into this park and they it looks like they're wearing like COVID gear because you can't go in there. The the leeches fall from the trees on you and they're so well, intentionally, small. intentionally, intentionally. They can feel your vibrations. So they they want to come and suck your blood. Wow. And they're so small. I've seen them. They get into eyes and under. It's like, oh, my God. So oh. there's a lot of that. But if there's no rain, it's it's fine. And I tell people that are, hey, I want to go to a waterfall. and It's raining. You, you don't want to go in that water. All right. Just packed with leeches Oh, because they're coming down through the mud. If you enjoyed this content, we're doing five clips like this a week. If you want to watch the full podcast, click here.